Once upon a time, there were two engineering students, Bob and Bill. Bob was the class topper and the favorite student of every teacher, while Bill scored average grades. Yet, Bob failed the system design job interview round and Bill passed it. This video outlines the best tips to fail the system design interview, and this is Bob's story. Here are seven reasons why Bob failed the system design interview. Bob was the type of guy who answered every question right away. So, he started the design without understanding the exact requirements. But, Bill asked many counter questions and didn't start the design until he understood the requirements. Bob was good at drawing fancy block diagrams, but he didn't discuss the trade-offs of his architectural decisions and didn't care to identify the bottlenecks and single points of failure. But Bill talked about the alternative technologies and mentioned the trade-offs of each architectural decision. This way, he justified his decisions. Bob loved to do capacity planning and did it without checking with the interviewer. Besides, he didn't ask whether API and database schema design was necessary. But Bill checked with the interviewer whether there was a need for capacity planning. This helped to save time and focus on important things. Bob didn't have a two-way conversation with the interviewer and tried to finish the design fast, while Bill often asked for feedback and adjusted his design. With every architectural decision, he asked the interviewer what his thoughts were on this approach and if the trade-off was acceptable. Besides, he shared each assumption with the interviewer and admitted the knowledge gaps when he got stuck. This helped him to get hints from the interviewer. Bob loved to use buzzwords in the interview, so he missed many important design details. But Bill loved proven technologies and had a broad knowledge of alternative technologies so he knew when to use what. His knowledge was T-shaped and it helped him justify design decisions. Bob skipped doing mock interviews and considered himself a lonely wolf. Also, he wasted time creating fancy block diagrams in the interview. While Bill did many mock interviews to improve his communication skills and used extra time to get familiar with the drawing tool before the interview. Also, he kept the design simple. This is how he spent time in the interview. Understand requirements, 5 minutes. High-level design, 10 minutes. Design deep dive, 15 minutes. Validation, 5 minutes. Bob didn't mention cross-cutting concerns to the interviewer or check whether his design met the requirements towards the end of the interview. But... Bill mentioned what improvement he would make if he had extra time and validated requirements with his design. Don't bother to understand requirements. This guarantees failure even with a perfect design. Don't discuss trade-offs or identify bottlenecks. Do capacity planning and other design steps without checking with the interviewer. Don't keep an open communication channel because the interviewer's interest might be different. Don't read too many books and white papers if you get extra time. Don't keep track of time in the interview and don't take extra time if something is unclear. And keep the design complex. Be like Bob if you want to fail. The system design interview is difficult because you want to design a system in 45 minutes. And it usually takes many engineers a few years to build it in the real world. The job offer might get down-leveled if you don't perform well in the system design interview. So prepare well and learn from Bob's mistakes.